close this one stop debugging scrolling up close this one let's implement the in rule action method copy this portion and paste it below and name it enroll and enroll action method we specified in the view layer go to index and here you say enroll action method and here also the image link the enroll this is the enroll action to call let's implement this enroll action method delete this code and let's write variable course equal await underscore context dot courses dot include need to include the SPNet user which is teacher we need this table information and then include the other table which is course students then include here we need to specify then include because through this table course student we will get this table information which is student it will map the student also inside course table and dot single or default async here need to mention m dot course id equal id parameter what we will get semicolon let's specify this id inside action parameter here string user id we will get from user manager user manager dot get user by id and the user object need to pass that's it and if this course dot course dot teacher id this id has error need to specify this action parameter the grid id that's it if this course dot teacher id equal to user id that means this user is the teacher so we can let them to see the playlist or, or course dot course students dot any this will specify okay this user is a student and this student has already bought this course so this student can see the playlist so course student dot any student id equal user id that means this student already bought this course so the user can see the playlist and see the course that means a student normally enrolled and by default teacher can see the his course also else that means the user not paid the user is a student and a student not paid to this course so need to specify the payment page to enroll so creating the enroll view page it's taking time to scuff folding here is the enroll here need to show the payment button so that a student can pay to this course copy this another file playlist playlist here we need to implement the wistia later here enroll 
need to specify the Stripe payment button. Let's add few HTML markup code. Here div class jumbotron to look nice and div tag again and the class will be the grid container later div the class equal row then again the div tag now need to specify the class the grid column lg large 6 and column md for middle medium device offset it will take the space at the left the grid 3 and specifying the form action form tag action method is url dot action and giving a name this is controller courses and the name will be action method name is payment and this is a post method so method equal post and here need to specify the hidden field this is anti forgery token to prevent the XSS attack XRF attack. This is mandatory for payment gateway. Let's specify the type hidden and here we need to specify the course ID. The course ID value need to be specified here within this form tag. So this model capital M model dot okay intelligence cannot so need to specify at the top so at model clone edomi dot ef dot course now intelligent will work model dot course id now need to specify the script of the stripe button this is the script and need to specify the attribute value the source will be the stripe checkout you can get this script information after you sign up that scribe stripe and you will get that script and i just copy pasted here so the stripe payment url is https checkout.stripe.com slash checkout.js where you will be hit this javascript source file and the class will be stripe button enter and this is the most important part of this stripe payment gateway which is i believe data keyword data key this key is specific in your case so this is unique number for each user you will get from stripe page just go to stripe.com and sign up there and you will go to the script section of creating a stripe button and for you you will get this unique key for for my case I got a unique key which is pk underscore test underscore s5 mcq you can see I'm just 
copy pasting from a uh, script actually and I'm done this is my key in your, in your case the key will be different and need to specify another attribute which is data amount in stripe the payment is calculated as sent so we need to multiply our price into 100 so that to get the actual result so here data amount model dot price into 100 and need to specify another attribute which is data template name is type.com and another attribute which is data description any widget any name you can give and data image data image you can give an image path to display a button if you want different image to show inside button for me I don't I keep this empty because I need a stripe image and data local equal auto that's it let's save and scroll up let's implement this payment action method so that we can be so sure that user already paid our service the paid for that course and we should register the course with the student so that student can enroll and see the course content let's specify http post because this will be post and this is nt4 jari token so need to specify validate nt4 jari token to prevent xsrf attack so this name should be payment and exactly this payment and course id we will get from this form and so this name should be course id okay and this is null we can specify like this let's find out this course variable course equal underscore context dot courses dot first and x such that x dot course id equal course id so we'll get the course through this course ID this is the primary key semicolon enter and course dot revenue so we we can be so sure the student already paid so plus equal whatever money it has it plus the current price so the revenue will get like this way and user ID will get user manager dot get user id and user object need to pass here semicolon variable let's find out course student new course student we are initializing the course student object here and model dot course id let's initialize student id here student id equal user id and model dot course id equal the course dot course id now we can create this record inside course student table so context dot course students dot add let's add this course student object so model here it is let's save changes await context dot 
save changes async then return to the enroll page return redirect to action enroll and as a parameter query string need to pass id equal course dot course id or course id same thing that's it let's run this project and let's see the stripe payment gateway the real life implementation in my case this stripe the key is test key and so that i can show you the the way to p give payment to a course suppose this is a course this is playlist and let's try to enroll other course okay i cannot click this image why go to browse okay here image need to be inserted inside okay action here it is okay now okay same thing here cut this end tag and paste it here so inside anchor tick the image will be placed now if i click this image it will go to this enroll but why getting error user id not set okay query parameter is not right i believe need to check okay go to the view page here you can see sp route dot here if should not be dot here we need to specify the dash this is my mistake and again at the here also okay browse page let's refresh this page now click this image you can see this is enroll so this is teacher so he can see the but with another course he can see this payment click this test mode to get the card number so that we can pay any money copy this portion write an email click this one we don't want this paste here any digit you can give here and here any digit click this pay what will happen it will after payment it will redirect to this payment page let's prove this after clicking this pay and payment completed you can see the course id we are getting from the form tag and step out so this is enroll that means the student can see the course he already paid okay. another course it's not this user not paid to this course that's the reason he is seeing stripe button